Hey Geminis, this is your reading for the mid-month of June of 2019. The monthly readings are already up on my channel so you can check them out um, and check out your moon and rising signs. The monthly readings also have the energy healing, uh, really powerful stuff guys, check it out. Okay, uh, let's see what we got going on for you. And also if you don't follow me already over on Facebook, if you're on Facebook, go ahead and look me up, these Divine Guidance. And the link is also in the description to come and connect with me on a deeper level over there. What do we have going on for you guys? Let's see, last card. I will be pulling the vampire cards as well, which I have not read in a very long time. So I'm excited for that. So stay tuned. All right. Let's see what we have here. Wow, guys. Okay. So you've got the world card, you've got the ace of pentacles, and you've got the ace of cups. New beginnings. New begin. Oh, God. Guys, you've got three aces in this reading. I'm, I'm going to say it, guys. I, I'm hearing that it is time to get off your asses and fight for the new beginnings. Fight for your new beginnings life. Fight for your new love. Stop settling for the old. Stop settling for where you're at right now. You've got aces. There's heartbreak here. There's heartbreak. Do not. And then there's conflict, right? And I'm feeling that it's like when you start to try to get that new beginning, aces, three aces, guys, triple aces. I mean, geez, is there a clearer message? Money, love, work, all of it. You can have all of it. You got to let go of the pain of the past. This heartbreak card is keeping you stuck. You might be in the relationship and you're still heartbroken because you're not getting what you deserve. You're not getting what you need. This heartbreak is holding you back from being the person that you want to be. It's giving you severe conflict here. It is like, I want to, but no, I can't. But I want to, but no, I can't. I know who I am, but wait, maybe I'm not that person. You are that person. You are that person. There, you have a chance at a whole new life here. You have a chance to be the person that you want to be, the person that you know who you are. That new beginning is here. It's waiting for you. The world, like I feel like the universe is calling for this new beginning. Are you going to take it or not? Are you going to let the pain of the past keep you in the past? keep you stuck, keep you hurt, keep you in pain, keep you from knowing who you truly are, keeping you from enjoying life? Are you going to let somebody or some situation, and some of you, this is, this is going back to childhood, guys. I am feeling like we're going way back here. This isn't about what is happening now. It isn't about a relationship that maybe you just had and they're giving me chills. They are taking you way back here. Right, I always say, and I think I said this in the intuition challenge this past week, where what we feel now is not because of now. It is because of the past. So if I break up with someone now and I have all these emotions coming up, it's not because of what I feel now. It's because of the past. It's because of somewhere down the line, I have been programmed to believe certain things or feel certain things or think certain things. Breakups hurt. Yes, absolutely. But when you're devastated and you let it hold you to this degree as to not letting you live your life, as to staying stuck in a situation that you know that you don't belong, that shit's from the past. That's not right now. It's from the past. Something in the past is keeping you there. The stories that you're telling yourself are from the past, from when you were children, right? We basically have these fears, these beliefs and they come from us from our whole life growing up as the second we're born and probably even before, but I won't go there. <laughs> but, you know, it's not now. The problem is not now. It's not the situation that you've just been in or that you are in. It is from the past. What are you holding on to from the past that is keeping you stuck right now? Because it's breaking your heart and right now it's breaking mine for you. You need to let this go. You need to let go. You need to touch it. A lot of you don't even want to touch it. You don't want to go back there because it hurts too much. That's the beauty of energy healing. You don't have to have the pain when you go back to touch it. You release it, right? It's not like therapy where you have to talk about it and talk about it and talk about it and cry. You will cry. I will tell you, you will cry. Most of you will cry, we'll say. 
to release that, but you're releasing it when you cry. You're not just sorrowing it when you're crying, okay? So energy healing all the way for you guys. Check out your monthly readings. There's energy there. But for you right now, you're holding yourself back because of what you've been through in the past. It's time to face it. It's time to face the past so that you can move forward and have these new beginnings that the universe wants to give to you. They're there. They're waiting for you. They're giving me the chills. They're waiting for you. Stop thinking that they're not. Stop thinking that you're less than you are. Stop thinking that you deserve less than you do. You deserve everything. You deserve the happiness that you want. You deserve the life that you want. This is for you. This is about you. It's not about anybody else. In order to have these new beginnings, you need to go back. You need to go back. Woo! Okay, let's see. Vampire cards. What do we have for the sign of Gemini for mid-month of June 2019? Whoa, okay. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh man, guys, I love spirit. It's like ridiculous. Wait until I read that card for you. What do we have here? Oh my gosh. All right, guys. The first card, you got two, so I'm going to read two for you, okay? Whatever pops up, that's what I go with. So we got internal youth. The first word on this card is energy. Spirits confirm. They confirm like this, synchronicities, angel numbers, signs, all of that stuff. That's a confirmation. Energy healing is what you need. It says energy, newness, vitality. And then the, the second card is seduction. Allure, desire, manipulation. Okay, so let's see. I read from the books. This is Lucy Cavendish. These are my less vampire cards. And um, I love how she writes. And I think the message is what she writes. And this is the first. Oh, my gosh, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't even. Add that to the aces. That is number one. Number one. If this is not the time for you to have a new beginning, I don't know when is. Are you going to take it or not? Are you going to face your fears? You have to. There's four aces in this reading, guys. It is time for your new beginnings. This is your time. Don't think that this message isn't for you. This message is for you. If you're here, you've been guided here. You've been guided to my channel. You've been guided to this reading to hear that it's time to stop the bullshit. It is time for you to get to where you want to go. Number one, guys. Number one. Sorry, I, I might get too excited. All right. Um, the quest to remain young has never been more fervent than in your time. Everywhere you, we and you look, you will observe the obsession with being and remaining lineless. Yet there are those who are young in their face and body who are withered with age within their souls. Youthfulness cannot be found so much in the unwrinkled face and the muscle without a trophy. A trophy. The true youth is the one who never ceases to look at the world with wonder. The truly youthful human is the one who moves, breathes, and lives with delight, with a sense of discovery. Those who have accepted imprisonment, order, status, and the invet... Oh my gosh, I can't even say it. I can't say it, I'm going to skip it. Who no longer engage the gifts of the mind and the body, as well as those whose spirits feel tired and jaded, who endlessly complain about aging, and who compare themselves to images created by technology, are old before they need be. For the vampires, yes, we seem to stay young, but we merely look young. On the inside, we are often ancient. And because of this long life, so many of us fall victim to our own cynicism. Be aware the enemies of your wellness and youthfulness, which have nothing to do with a venerated age, are disengaged mind, body, heart, and soul. Gather up your determination and do not a trophy. Atrophy? I can't pronounce. Forgive me. You can be eternally youthful by caring for yourself. This does not mean attempting to reverse aging. It means embracing life. It means exploring the potential of your body and what it can do. It means doing what you love, not necessarily what is age appropriate. It means having an attitude of joyful investigation into life. It means we see again and again that those with curiosity for adventure and renewal are those who are youthful, even into their most vintage of years. Do not waste your human youth. Do not waste any of this blessed life you have been given. 
The blessing of this card is you are about to be rejuvenated and filled with energy and potential. Oh, they gave me chills, guys. You will look and feel very well and your health will be vital. You will be very attractive and people will be drawn to your youthful, free spirit and optimism. The curse of this card is tired, feeling old and worn, feeling devalued by a society which revers youthful appearances, wondering where your youth has gone, regrets about your younger years, depleted energy. The way to work with this card is explore the blessings of the body and mind. It is time to discover what your body can do and to instigate a transformation. It is time to give into what you love and to make it a larger part of your life. It is time to eat well, drink deeply of water and connect with new people. It is time to love being alive for that drinking deep from the cup of life is the true fountain of youth. What they're making me feel here is that this right here, this heartbreak, the three of swords is keeping you old. It's depleting your youthfulness, the worry, the guilt, the fear, the resentment, the hurt, the pain is just like hanging on your soul. It's pushing your vibration down. And you're letting it. I feel like you're, you're, it's like you just accept it. It's not time to accept it. It's time to push through it. It's time for these new beginnings. I'm going to add that to the pile, right? This is the first card. Why do you think it's the first card of this Oracle deck? It's the first card because you need to raise your vibration. You need not be depleted by what the society thinks you should be, what your boyfriend or girlfriend thinks you should be. You need to be who you are. What makes you feel good? Do things that make you feel youthful, right? I just bought a bike and rollerblades. I haven't been on rollerblades in probably like 15 years. A bike probably in like 20. But I don't care. I've got kids and I'm like, you know what? If I'm out here hanging out with them, why don't I have some fun too? And it opens up so much. It opens up you. It opens you up to who you used to be before this crap came in. All right, next card we've got, seduction. I'm interested to hear what it says for you. This beautiful bed is the place where someone greeted their unspoken desire and where they met their end. It is the place to which so many of you are drawn, even when you know the outcome may be dangerous. This card comes to you now to warn you, empower you, and ask you to heed. The one who knows what it is you want has a plan for you and that plan involves their own satisfaction there is one about you who understands very deeply what people desire and most especially what you desire it is not so simple and crass as sexual satisfaction or a kind of food or even a job or status in life you are being offered it is the deep feeling that you are understood accepted and desired for who you are but it is the, a truth that this person who is now seducing you is doing so with every kind of ability to stifle and inhibit your life force. This is not to say that you must look about you now with suspicion of all people. You must simply become aware of your desires and your vulnerabilities. This card is a call to self-knowledge, to understand that when you are called to the beautiful bed, you may be drained and you may even die to a part of it even die to a part of yourself. For you will come to know that the love that have been offered to you has been for the satisfaction of another. If you do go to bed of the vampire, you will leave a part of yourself there. Someone about you is ready to seduce you. If you choose to be seduced, they will have what they want and you will lose more than you know. Be careful. The blessing of this card is you are now able to discern much more clearly between people who are healthy for you and people who you would do, do, do well to avoid. You are no longer feeling guilty for saying no to attractive advances. The curse of this card is it is time to reassess a friendship or the kinds of people and situations you find attractive. Are you inviting unwelcome dramas and situations into your life? And the way you work with this card is you are able to resist unhealthy advances from manipulative people at this time. You are no longer available for others to make use of. I want to go back here. Um, where it says the curse of this card is it's time to reassess friendships or the kinds of people and situations you find attractive. And I want to point that out. 
for when, where we were saying before that going back to the past, I want you to really kind of focus and see how your past, your past patterns, look at the people you've been attracted to, look at the friends in your life, look at the people that are in your life. If these people are manipulative people, if these people are always looking out for them, if these people are the people that you help, but then when it's your time, they're nowhere to be found, this is a pattern and the pattern comes back, comes from the past, comes from that place that we don't want to touch, that we need to go back to in order to wrap this all up and like get our new life going here. It's not right now. It's the message. It's not right now that's keeping you back. It's back then. So you've got to look at the patterns. Look at the people that you've been with. Look at the situations that you've been in. Are you attracting these types of people? And if you are, it's because of how you feel about yourself. You don't have to feel that way. You've just got to heal the past. Healing the past will then domino effect all the way through. Leave me some comments below. Let me know if this resonates with you guys. Let me know which card you like the best. And let me know what the hell you think about these four aces, guys. <laughs> I can't say it any clearer. The time is now. The time is now to heal the past so that you can move forward into these new beginnings. And they just gave me chills again. That's all I got to say. Much love to all of you. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the month. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.